So basically what I did in my study that I have divided the patient into two cohort and I have uh, uh, taken the cohort one who will be prescribed, uh, who was prescribed with the uh, extreme regimen. And in comparison with this, in a, a, to know or to understand that the paclitaxel-based regimen will do how uh, in comparison with the extreme regimen. Here the change is only in one drug that 5-fluorouracil is replaced with the paclitaxel. Now, why we uh, thought of replacing 5-fluorouracil with paclitaxel is that uh, uh, I have two reasons to support this, as paclitaxel is having immunomodulatory uh, action. So later on, when paclitaxel is replaced with the maintenance therapy with immunotherapy, it will give a good result. Second is paclitaxel, when is added, uh, six, uh, 96 hour continuous infusion of 5-fluorouracil is replaced with the single day paclitaxel dose. So patient do, don't have to admit to the hospital for five days. Moreover, 5-fluorouracil is more toxic compared to paclitaxel. So this is why we thought of replacing 5-fluorouracil with paclitaxel. So many researchers have replaced this extreme regimen with docetaxel-based cisplatin and cetuximab regimen, where they found that there is good safety, but no change in efficacy or there is a no little or there is no or little improvement in the overall survival. So basically, in my study, I have tried to replace first of all 5 fluorouracil. Uh, I have just compared 5 fluorouracil based regimen that is extreme regimen and uh, paclitaxel based regimen. Now, if the safety is the problem, then it directly impact the patient's quality of life. So I tried to measure the humanistic outcome along with the clinical outcome so that we can uh, get better idea that what is the impact of safety on patient's life. Because in stage four patient or I can say metastatic patient, there is nothing called, uh, you know, survival is one of the option, but they more focus on quality of life. Whatever or however, uh, like uh, how long they live, they want to live in a good quality. So when I compared humanistic outcome in both the cases, I found that humanistic outcome was much more uh, significantly higher in paclitaxel-based regimen compared to extreme regimen. Whereas I found there is no change in overall survival, but there is a significant change in progression-free survival in my study. So I can say that paclitaxel-based regimen, which is replacing the, uh, this extreme regimen, is well-tolerated and having a good impact on a humanistic outcome compared to this extreme regimen.